If you're like me, you probably want to recover some files or some pictures that got deleted. Okay, if you want to do that, do not make the same mistake that I did. Do not install any software on the same hard drive where the files were deleted. You could potentially overwrite them and you'll never get them back. What I recommend doing is the software that I'm about to show you, I'm going to show you five different undelete recovery software that I've tested because I tried to get back some photos that my girlfriend deleted on my computer. So anyways, I tested out five different so pieces of software and I've come to the conclusion of which one is the best. So I'm going to do a real brief tutorial through uh, a few of them and then I'm going to ultimately show you why uh, this one piece of software stood out as the best. If you decide to install some recovery software, install it on a USB key or um, install it on a secondary hard drive or a USB drive, okay? Do not install it on the same hard drive where the deleted files are, okay? So don't make that mistake because you'll probably never get those files back. Now, I'm going to show you the first of a few different softwares and how they work. Okay, here we have, this is uh, some free software that I found that scans your hard drive and it'll help you find deleted files. Now, the thing that's challenging about this is that you kind of have to know the exact file name or you have to know exactly where that file was deleted. Now, even if you know where the file was deleted, it may not end up there. It may end up in your recycle bin. It may end up um, somewhere else on your, your hard drive. It depends on how Windows wants to handle the file. I already did a scan on my C drive and this is my recycle bin right here and you can basically just drill down into different uh, folders and if you know exactly what file, file you're looking for and you know you think you kind of have an idea well you can find it generally and if you notice here I've got a bunch of different files M4, M4A files here's some MP3s and they're all in cryptic names okay well this is what you get for free and it's fine and maybe it'll work for you maybe it won't but if you're looking for photos you probably don't know the the name of it because most um, cameras you know name the photos like DSC 1008.jpg or .gif or whatever format your com your camera uses well naturally you're probably not gonna know that name and you're not even gonna be able to search for it because there's a search tab and you can search for it if you knew what it was well, that's what you get with free, and that's great if you're looking for specific files. If you visit my website, I'll tell you what software this is. Now, I'm going to skip over to the next piece of software. Okay, now this software allowed me to search for star.jpg, and it just brought up all the different JPEGs that were deleted, and it also tells you what folders they're in. So this is a little bit more accurate. It's a little bit easier to use. Um, it is a paid software and um, it's gonna cost you about $50 to use this software. So the one advantage is, is it allows you to search for star JPEGs and it just basically, you know, if you look at the names, image underscore 1767 JPEG. So it would have been hard to find that because we wouldn't have known the file name. So visit my website again and you'll see what softwares I review and rate all of these softwares. I'm just trying to do a quick uh, review through these. Here's another piece of software. Again, same format. It basically drills down from your C drive into separate folders. It shows you all the undeleted files and you can go through and drill down and try to find them. Now, I'm going to show you this software that stands out above the rest. It gives you a visual res representation of the files, which makes it a lot easier if you're trying to get your photos back. And that's what mainly this tutorial is about. And I'm going to show that to you in one second. Okay, here we are. This software is by far the best. Naturally, it costs the most. But um, in my opinion, if you're looking for photos or any specific file on any, like it also supports Mac. Um, you can look up your PC different partitions. You can uh, search on your uh, DVD-Rs. And in this scenario, I'm just going to show you how I found the photos that I was looking for. By clicking on the photos, it brings up your different devices. So you could scan your USB drives, your USB hard drive. In my instance, we're going to search my C drive because that happens to be where the photos I was looking for are. And once I click that, notice it begins to go to work. This will take about six minutes. I have about a 200 gig, 180 gig hard drive. It takes about six minutes for this to run. It's going to search and find 
every instance of photos that have been deleted on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, let this run, and I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go. It took about six minutes to run this on my computer. And as I said earlier, I'm looking to undelete and recover photos that were deleted. And here we go. So I'm going to be looking for JPEG images. And if I click that, you'll notice that this software has organized everything into different folders. So there is no cryptic file name. I don't have to do any type of search because frankly, I wouldn't even know what name I would be looking for. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these folders and it's going to bring up all the different images that it's found on my computer. So now you have a visual representation of the different photos that it found on your computer. So now you just browse by folder through folder until you check each folder or each picture that you want to recover. And once you've come up with your list, you can just click the save files and you can save it to a specific folder on your computer. And that's how easy this software is. It's probably, or it is the only software that I've found out of testing six different softwares that gives you the visual representation. So if you're looking to recover your photos, this is the absolute best. Visit my website, it's down here, howtoundelete.info. Um, I also review a free software. I review a few other softwares that I use, uh, four different ones. And then um, obviously I did the review on this, which is by far the best. Um, so visit my website. Rate this video a 5 of 5 if you made it to the end, and uh, thanks for watching.